my entire PlayStation 2 collection. How's it going, everyone? I'm going to be going over every single game in this video. Comment down below if you want me to live stream any of these because I've been live streaming on my channel. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I don't even know how many games I have. I've been collecting uh, retro games for like the past year and a half. There's a, a retro video game shop that opened up probably about seven to 10 minutes away from me. So not too far. And they have super affordable prices. Everybody's really nice. So I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Every time I go in, I seen a game that I seen from when I was a kid. I'm like, $4.99, I'll take that. Uh, another $4.99, I'll take that. And the prices are great. Uh, and it's like, how could I not get these games? So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and dive into it. All right, so I went ahead and organized them alphabetically. And we're going to start off with uh, numeric, which would be 50 cent bulletproof. Which, I mean, I, I want to play this. I think I might live stream this today after I'm done recording this. It has like the little back piece ready and for mature. There's no manual inside. Super sad. Next up, we have Acme Arsenal, which looks to be like a, a Looney Tunes first person shooter. Like, how cool is that, dude? Um, And this one does come with the uh, the manual inside and the game disc, which the game, look, that looks pretty cool, dude. Come on. That looks pretty awesome. Looney Tunes with guns. <laughs> that could never happen anymore. <laughs> you got to appreciate it while we had it. You know, look at this. Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Who else misses when they used to make video games based off movies? Like every movie that came out, there was video games. And this one has the manual and it has the chocolate swirled disc. Super cool. Next up, we have a game that I played a little bit as a child, but I, I didn't own. Like I wasn't, my mom's like, you're definitely not going to have that. I was like seven. Def Jam Vendetta, uh, which if anybody is into rap music, you, you know, this is a must have. Uh, I don't think it has, uh, it doesn't have the manual, but it has like this little slip inside for a PlayStation 3 and then the disc. Actually, who's in this? DMX, Ludacris, Method Man, Noriega, Redman, Scarface, and more. That's pretty cool. All right, next up, we have The Devil May Cry 2, which I have all the Devil May Cries, but I think this is the only one I have for uh, the PlayStation. Oh, look at that. It actually has two game discs inside. That's pretty cool with the manual. And there's the backside. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the Fantastic Four, you know, because it was a fantastic movie. Um, a little backside images. And then it does come with the manual inside. Pretty cool stuff. There's the uh, the number four logo. I wonder if we're going to get it like another Fantastic Four movie. That would be pretty cool. Um, since we're speaking about Marvel movies. Look, we got some Ghost Rider action. How cool is that, man? Johnny Blaze in the flesh. That's kind of cool. I wonder if we get to ride the motorcycle in the game. I guess I'm going to have to find out. Uh, no manual. And there's the game disc. Ooh, look at Ghost Rider looking all menacing. Let me look into your soul. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Grand Theft Auto 3. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, there's the backside. I don't think no manual and no disc. Where the hell is the disc? Oh, I think it is in the PlayStation. No, this is Marvel's Ultimate Alliance. Where the hell? Where's the disc? I'm sure I have it somewhere. <laughs> Could you imagine if I bought that game and it didn't have the disc inside? Oh my God. All right, next up we have Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Actually, there's a new Harry Potter game coming out and I'm very excited for it. I don't think we've had a Harry Potter game in the last 10 years, which I love the Harry Potter franchise. Um, There it is with the game manual inside. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, I actually want to get the Lego Harry Potter games too because it's just Harry Potter. Uh, then we got uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which where's this little thing? It has um, a free inside one child's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban movie ticket. That's so cool. So if you bought this game, you actually got a movie ticket. Damn, EA used to do some cool stuff. I wonder what happened. Greed is a mother. All right. And then we have the Hulk on PlayStation 2, which I definitely want to play this, dude. I already made a thumbnail for this. Like, I want to get into Hulk. dude. Then it has the, the manual inside. I like Hulk, dude. Like this giant monster. Like he's huge, man. He just causes destruction and mayhem. All right. Next up, we have Hitman Silent Assassin, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's the backside. And then the manual with the game disc. Then we have Hitman Contracts with the two guns, which is... Oh, dude, I love that stuff. He's got the two 1911s with wood handles. How fire is that? Uh, there's the backside. And then we have the interior manual with the accompanying disc then we have hitman blood money with the backside and then the inside manual with the disc we also have iron man which i think is like a 2007 or 8 game maybe 2004 um with the disc but no 
manual. I wonder if this has anything to do with the movie or this came just prior to the movie. I feel like it might have. Then we also have Jet Li, Rise to Honor. I wonder whatever happened to Jet Li. I know he had a movie with um with um DMX. I think it was Created to the Grave. I thought that was awesome. Um, next up, ooh, Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. I just rewatched the entire trilogy for like the fourth time. Extended edition. Oh, it's such a good movie, man. Um, that box art looks so free. Look at Gandalf, dude. Like, that looks beautiful, man. And then we get uh, the interior manual with the game disc. Super cool stuff. And then, of course, I had to pick up the two towers. Five bucks, dude. Totally worth the five bucks. Um, with game manual inside along with the disc. And then the return of the king, which is awesome. I'm actually like two and a half hours into rewatching return of the king. So I might finish watching it later this weekend. Ooh, man, look at Legolas right there. And then we got the, uh, the manual inside with the game disc. All right, so far, that's the first stack. Let's move on to the next stack. All right, to start things off, let's go with The Mummy Returns. Dude, who else loved The Mummy, dude? When this movie first came out, I wanted to be an archaeologist. I had my parents take me to, I think it was Borders or Barnes & Noble, and I found like a, a historic book on ancient Egyptian. It was huge. It was like a big book like this. It was thick, hardcover. And I was like, I'm going to be an archaeologist because of this movie. I love this movie, man. I miss Brandon Fraser, man. I wish he would come back and do some stuff. I know he did... um doom patrol and that was that's been awesome but I, I i really enjoyed him as an actor all right then we get the the mummy the tomb of the dragon emperor which i have not seen this one um i'm not sure is this the second based off the second movie i can't tell but it does have the interior manual along with this all right and next we have <laughs> this is actually pretty cool i've been binging this like crazy Naruto Uzumakai Chronicles 2. And then look at that. It's got a whole character selection on the back side. Go ahead and open it up with the interior manual and the game disc. Naruto is great, dude. I think I'm on like season three. It is fire. Um, and then I also picked up a Naruto Ultimate Ninja, which is super cool, which is it's, it looks like it's just like a Moto Combat type game. But I wonder if it gets open world. That'd be pretty cool. Unfortunately, no manual inside, but it does have the game disc with a uh, Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura. Pretty cool stuff. Oof. It has, I don't know if you can see right here, the Demon of the Mist from uh, the first like real villain they had to fight, which I hope you get to play him in the game. Then we got some Star Trek Shattered Universe, which it looks like it's an outer space game, like you're in the Starship Enterprise game disc and interior manual, which I've only seen like the first maybe 12 or 13 episodes of Star Trek of the first original series. And I really enjoyed it. You, you know, like a lot of the older TV shows were just fire, dude. Um, and then we get Spider-Man friend or foe. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotta love blockbuster. My guy, um, pretty cool stuff. Um, ooh, who's on the back there. We got Joker, Catwoman, uh, Rhino, Sandman, Doc Ock, Venom, and that one iron guy. There's the, uh, the disc inside with the manual. Pretty cool stuff. I think I had friend or foe on the DS. Um, then we also have a Spider-Man 2 based off the movie. Some Tobey Maguire action. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> With the... Uh... Oh, look at the game disc, dude. It's Doc Ogg. That's pretty fire, dude. Oh, man. I like that a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Then we get uh, Spider-Man 3. Pretty cool stuff. There's a little backside action. And I don't think it has a manual. And it does. It's got manual game disc. Game disc isn't that cool, but... Nonetheless, we also have Ultimate Alliance Special Edition, which I did stream uh, a, a few uh, weeks back. Ooh, and that's why I have one disc here and the other disc is inside of the PlayStation. Ooh, and then Spider-Man number one, based off the first uh, Tobey Maguire film with him going against uh, the Green Goblin. Pretty cool stuff. I definitely want to check this out. I wonder if there's going to be like a mission, like the, the whole wrestling scene. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, Spy Hunter, which I don't know anything about this game. It looked kind of lit on the cover. So I'm like, let me pick this up. Uh, just like a, it looks like a typical racing game. I don't think there's anything to it except for the fact that, uh, on the hood of the vehicle, you see two massive guns. So I'm assuming you're going to like drive around and like shoot people like, Die! you know, stuff like that. And then we also have, uh, Terminator three or eyes of the machines. I'll be back. There's the, uh, the backside, you are the ultimate weapon. 
And then I don't think, yeah, no manual inside, but we got a uh, homegirl right there on the on the disc. Pretty cool stuff. We also got Terminator Dawn of Fate. And this is one of those shiny covers that they just tickle me inside. Like the, the Pokemon cards with the hollow. I'm a sucker for it, man. I, comic books with shiny covers. I'm a sucker for it, dude. Make it shiny and I'm going to pick it up. Uh, there's the back side of it. And then opening it up, we have the interior manual, which has like this really nice, almost feels like a, like a gloss type cover. And then the manual. All right. And then we got uh, Wolverine's Revenge. X-Men 2, I'm assuming, because it has the X2 based off the X-Men 2 movie. Um, backside, art side, pretty cool stuff. And then inside we have the game disc and the manual. And then, I probably should have showed this first, but X-Men, the official game, which would probably be the first version of that. And then we also have the, the backside. Who is that? Oh, so we got Iceman, Nightcrawler, and Wolvie. That's pretty dope. What does it say? Master the power of the X-Men. Master. And then inside we have the game manual that looks freaking awesome. And then the game disc staying on the X-Men subject. We also have X-Men Next Dimensions, which this just look kind of dope. Pretty cool stuff. Look at Storm, dude. She's taking up like half the cover over here. And I love it. I love every second of it. Uh, with the game manual inside, along with the X logo on the disc. All right. And then lastly, we have X-Men Legend, which looking at the back of the box, it kind of reminds me of a Marvel Ultimate Alliance where you could play uh, co-op with other players uh, and then there's the game disc with Magneto's face looking pretty cool like the Warcraft 3 game